Hi guys, Patrol is in in Shenzhen today, and um, let's say hi to Hong Kong people. Hey, hello, Ni Hao. What's up, Hong Kong? So um, today you are opening, launching a new exhibition in Shenzhen. Yes. It's about your new um, uh, merchandise and yes. some new artworks. Absolutely. Um, how do you feel about this tour? Oh man, uh, this has been a great opportunity. I mean, today and the opening uh, this evening in Shenzhen, uh, of course, supported by Pop Life. Yes. Uh, it's been overwhelming. It's like been crazy, uh, and it's fantastic to see the supporting uh, kind of elements as far as the dancers who perform, uh, Qbert, uh, the DJ who's uh, been a friend for a long time and so happy to see him here. I understand like he came, you know, from Las Vegas yesterday just to be with us today. Yeah. So the show is called Right Here, Right Now. And it's more about, it's a play on words about my moment in time. And, you know, so with the support of Pop Life, Shenzhen uh, seemed like the the location that we would do this exhibition, you know, we've been planning for over a year. Yes. Um, and of course, they've worked with other uh, oh, yes. contemporaries yes. of mine, uh, Ron. Oh, yes. uh, they're going to be doing some upcoming shows with Black and Chaz Boricas from LA, uh, Black Larat, who's from, from Paris. Uh, and of course, working with the company now for a few years, you know, I was very happy to finally get this opportunity. Yes. Um, is this the first time you've been to Shenzhen? No, I've been to Shenzhen. Uh, I mean, it's funny because when I was, I mean, I'm, I was always coming to Hong Kong, yes. right? And Shenzhen was actually the first, my first time to, to the mainland. Yes. And this was uh, ooh, 2002, I came. First time, and it was so, completely different. Yes. Yeah, totally different. Like, no, what, 18, 18 years ago? Oh, yeah, exactly. Back I mean, then, like, um, farmlands. Yeah, like, I mean, it was certainly not as developed. Yes. And even where we are now, I don't think any of this area had been developed. No, um, no, no. It was more about taking the bus from Manka yes. and getting the, like, one day trip to the mainland, and yeah. of course, uh, whether it was taking the bus or taking the train, I remember right by the train station, it was a kind of bootleg mall yes. with a lot of uh, good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> in 2002, my first trip to Shenzhen, yeah. I bought a pair of Jordan 1. Oh, yes. And this is always, I mean, of course, I remember in 84 when the Jordans Jordan. arrived. Yes. And uh, it, still, I mean, there's maybe Jordan 20 something, yeah. maybe 30 something, yes. but. AJ1 is my favorite, of course. Back then, I put like, so what cost like, what, five, seven, no, 10 bucks? Yeah, like 12, like 12 bucks. Yeah, somewhere like Maximum, that. maximum. It's pretty bargain, right? And, uh, <laughs> absolute bargain. And it's funny because at this time, uh, when I was coming to Hong Kong yeah. in the late 90s and early 2000s, yeah. uh, I was crazy into toy. I was a toy collector. Yes. So it was an opportunity to look for some toys, maybe some. Uh, kind of bootleg toys or yes. some uh, variation, you know, like uh, I remember buying, um, you know, like white uh, Darth Vader oh, yes. and this kind of variation with without color yes. and, and super cool. Yeah. Because you're, you're a big fan of Star Wars, right? Huge fan, So yes. you must be collecting a lot of material. I had a lot of uh, Star Wars and, and, and it was also, I remember another time I came was just when, I guess it would have been, Mm, episode three, like uh, basically, uh, I can't remember the name of the, uh, but Darth Maul. Okay. I remember when the, the the Darth Maul character yeah. arrived, I was kind of crazy about Darth Maul. So have you seen the first one? Uh, the, the last one? one? No, uh, unfortunately I haven't yet. As soon as we go home, we will oh, see. Oh, you have yeah. to. Hey, I hear it's very good. Yes. Uh, well, I heard mixed reviews, mm -hmm. of course. Um, but it, but it, I'm such a, a fan. Yes, as yeah. a diehard fan, you uh, have to support I'm, I'm, it, right? I, I always support. Yes. And, I, I'm very happy with JJ's work yeah. and you know he's kind of I don't want to say he saved it but mm. I'm very happy where the franchise it's is continuing right now. yes that, that's what yeah. we want as fans right well I'll tell you love Star Wars love the nine episodes or the eight that I know yeah. of but I'm a big Mandalorian fan oh. uh, which is the new show that's available yeah, on yeah, Disney yes. plus yes I'm a, an addict because this we show. all love the character. Right? Yeah, well, I mean, we all love Boba Fett. Yes. So this idea of 
a Mandalorian, yeah. uh, you know, someone from Mandalore. Yeah, I'm, I'm so in on that. And of course, Baby Yoda, the child, he's kind of oh, yes. stolen uh, the it's moment. Stolen show, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, as a fans, fans, we, we like to know um, uh, figures for this uh, event, right? Yeah, I mean, we. This is Johnny. Mm. I think we debuted him. Um, we teased him last year. Yes. I don't know. We teased them early this year, but we didn't really release them until uh, ComplexCon yes. uh, uh, recently. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. A month ago, two months ago yeah. in uh, Los Angeles. Right. And for this particular show, uh, this was the original Johnny. We have a white Johnny mm -hmm. and we yes. have an iridescent Johnny. Yes. So there's, there's three versions of this guy now. So we'll and, and the iridescent is the exclusive uh, uh, right here, right now. Yeah, the Manhattan edition, right? Yes. Asia yeah. ex exclusive, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, will this, uh, you will launch a new um, color next year? Uh, no, I, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to evolve through more characters. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so, great. Uh, so, I think this is it for him, but uh, happy to be working with these guys. It's a combination of pop life uh, and, you know, these guys. Uh, I mean, it's it's important now for me. I feel to to get back into this kind of figure game, yes. which I had been a part for for sometimes. Sometimes, yes. exactly. And so, okay, as a fan, right? Listen, ha has to come to Sanjin to collect this one because maybe next year you will get a new new ideas from from him. So yes. please come mm. to Sanjin and get one. Absolutely, and this show will be for one month. Yes, so until 19 of uh, January. January, yes. correct, correct. So, um, like uh, next year, mm. any new plans? Yeah, I mean, there's some projects coming up. Mm. Um, I will be working, uh, I can say already, I'm going to be showing, uh, I'm, I have a relationship with Takashi, yes. uh, more comic yeah, yes, yes. So we did some work uh, recently, some prints that he's uh, produced for me. Yeah, we, we saw some sketch yeah, on Yeah, and, right. and uh, I will be having an exhibition uh, with his gallery in Tokyo, Kai Kai Kiki, yes, yes. in August. Oh, yeah. And so that's, that's happening. Mm -hmm. And we have some other plans. Mm -hmm. And I have a, another project away from uh, the gallery world and away from the toy oh, world. Toy, yeah. And I'm working on a kind of secret project with BMW, which we will yeah. debut in February. So well, coming it, soon. Is a new car concept or something uh, like that? I don't know about new car concept, but <laughs> some some visuals. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And this is very exciting for me because I've been supporting. Uh, you know, I, I drive BM. Uh, my current car is BM, and yeah. it's from 2008. Uh -huh. 11 years yeah and prior to that i had uh, another bmw for five years so i'm on like uh 16 17 years driving bmw and finally we got a project with them wow that's yeah, good that's very exciting yeah memory lanes for you yeah memory lane wow because um you are you are like as they say it's a hot criminal is it, is it, is it sound right I mean, from, from from the street from from from, from this era yes yeah. we were art criminals yeah. yes I mean, it was illegal. So yeah. yeah. So how how were you scared when you, when you do all this stuff? Uh, I mean, no, I wasn't scared. Okay. Um, I mean, I was careful because yeah. I, you know I didn't want to be captured by the police. Mm -hmm. But I mean, when I look at this train from yeah. 1980, also I, both of these are from 1980. Yes. Um, that was a. I mean, actually, wait. This is from yeah. the 70s, right? No, 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 okay. this is 80 also. Okay. Um, I was painting in the 70s, but, but these pieces are from the 80s, okay. uh, 1980, okay. 1980. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a great time. I mean, it's almost 40 years ago also. Yeah. So it was a time in my life when I was, I would say we were all surfacing. You know, we were in this underground school. We painted trains. But then at a certain moment in 79, we were thinking about, man, we want to stop doing illegal and maybe do some legal yes. uh, creativity. And this is the beginning of meeting Basquiat yes. and Keith Haring and Dandy and, and all of this kind of 1980s New York City art movement, yes. uh, which was very powerful. 
and, so, and, and even now we yeah. are. And uh, so, as, as, as we can see from the, the trains art, um, yes. you like the uh, abstract paintings. Yes. So, um, you, you, as a fan, we, we, we want to imagine how you, how you come up with these kind of ideas. Yeah, I mean, for me, okay, so, so this piece, yes. which is called Break, yeah. was completely abstract. Mm. Uh, this particular one, which I did with another artist named Kel, it's yeah. Kel Futura. Yeah. This is in the traditional sense of what we knew graffiti to be, which was letters, yeah. um, some characters. Yes. This is from uh, the Vaughn Baudet uh, archive. Um, but yes, I mean, we were, I think for me, I was trying to move beyond tradition and do something different. Yeah. At the same time, I knew a little bit about art and I was, I like the abstraction, the abstractionist. Yes. And uh, no one was really doing that. So when I went from this to this, um, I was kind of alone because no one else had done that yet. Yes. So people give me credit. Oh wow, you're the first abstract guy. Pioneer, right? Maybe, yes, maybe I was, but it wasn't because uh, I was simply trying to find a, another territory, another area to do something uh, not necessarily original, but... It's your own idea. It's my own idea, yes. yes, yes. That, that's great, man. Yeah. Just, no, this, yeah. this dates back to the 70s. Uh, yeah. Even though this, um, it looked like it could say 81, but it's actually S-A. So this is an S. And this is an A. Oh. And this was my kind of club, okay. Soul Artist. A soul Artist, okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is from 1978 or 79, okay. this, this tag. Okay. Uh, Thank you so much today. Sure. And I uh, hope we can see you next year. Yeah, I mean, uh, in China, I maybe will in be. The, or maybe Hong Kong. Hong Kong <laughs> Art Basel next year. I will oh, be yeah. back. Oh, yeah. February or February March? February or March. Oh, yeah. yeah that's I'll be back. Hope we can see you soon. Too. Me too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you to uh, Toy TV, Hong Kong. Thanks so much for having me. This is Futura. Cheshek. Hey, what's up? This is Futura. You're watching Toys TV. It's my pleasure. Thank you.